Look, I've made over seven figures online in my business with just one digital product doing a little over 900K. And I'm here to tell you that digital products are the absolute worst side hustle ever. And it's pretty much a scam. And here's why. Now, I'm going to keep this sweet, short, simple, and to the point. It's only going to take me about five minutes to break down. So if you don't have five minutes to spare, then you will probably just keep on looking for the best side hustle and you will be highly, highly, highly disappointed. So look, digital products are the worst side hustle because all side hustles are the worst side hustles and all side hustles suck and side hustles are for losers. Now, when I say side hustles are for losers, I mean that most people trying to do a side hustle are losing and failing at it. So by the definition, if you are losing at something, you are a loser. I'm not saying that they're losers like they're, they're bad people or anything like that, but here's how it goes. Digital products, they are great for a online business, but as a side hustle, terrible because you are setting yourself up for failure. So if you have side hustle mentality, just think about it. You're you're not looking to win anyways. You're just going to do the bare minimum. You're not gonna really put in any effort. You're not really going to, to excel at it because you're not looking to turn it into an actual thing. You're just looking to get a little bit of money, a little bit of side income. And that does not work in anything. Think about anything that anybody is successful at. They don't have the mentality that I'm just going to dabble in it. But people want to go do side hustles, but their nine to five job, they don't say like, oh, I'm going to work a, a little bit. They go all in at their job. That TV show that you like, you don't say, oh, I like this TV show, so I'm just going to dabble in it and I'm just going to watch 12 minutes of the one hour show that I like. Imagine if my mama chose to be a side mama. I would have ended up a trash can baby like Brenda. And if you get that reference, shout out to you. You're cool in my book. Or I would have ended up like the penguin in Batman Returns. His parents just dumped him in the sewer, right? Like sad stuff. No, you have to go in on something. So if this is a business, your digital product here can be the engine to scale your online business. Think business, side hustles aren't businesses, but an educational, informational digital product can grow your business. And that is the thing that anybody that is successful at selling digital products, that is what they are selling. They're not selling digital products. They're not selling information. They're selling transformation think about this nobody wants information you're getting information right now for free you can get on google get information you can get on on youtube get information we are in the information age why would anybody just want to buy any digital product just to get some information your digital product it can't be googleable or youtubeable right it needs to be something that can take somebody and get them from where they are to where they want to be. It needs to be able to get somebody from A to B. It needs to be able to get somebody from what I call Steve Urkel to Stefan Urkel. If you're familiar with Shelf Family Matters, right? Steve Urkel, he was the biggest nerd of all time. Oh, did I do that? <laughs> he drunk this potion. It turned him into this, this super smooth, suave, handsome guy named Stefan Urkel. That's what people want. People don't want to be Peter Parker. People want to be Spider-Man. So if you can take something that you know, some type of knowledge, information, something that comes easy to you, that comes harder for others, package that up in a digital product, that can be the engine to your vehicle to scale your online business. Plus, think about it like this. We only have so much information. Say this is uh, so much energy. Say this is you. Most people that are failing at side hustles, they're not just trying to do one side hustle, right? They'll try the one side hustle, a little bit of energy, then they'll fail at it. Then they'll say, oh, I'll try 
uh, drop shipping, then they fail at it. Then they say, oh, I'll try uh, Amazon FBA. Then they fail at it. Then they say, oh, I'll try cryptocurrency. Then they fail at it. Then they say, oh, I hear SNCO talking about digital products. I'll try that. Then they fail at it. Then they say, oh, I'll try a uh, faceless YouTube, YouTube automation. Then they'll fail at it. Then they'll say, oh, I'll try uh, copywriting. Then they fail at it. They try side hustle after side hustle after side hustle. But with this energy that you have, even if you did have some success at it, that you typically trying and failing and trying multiple things at the same time, that even if they did have success, they can't get that far with it because their energy is displaced everywhere. They're all over the place. And you're going to lose 10 times out of 10 to the person that takes their energy, that takes that energy and focuses on that one thing and watch how much progress they get with that one thing versus that person that's trying and failing multiple things or has multiple side hustles. They're not going to get anywhere. This is the game right here. You take that energy into one thing, that digital product into your online business, focus on that and that is what scales you. You're going to lose 10 times out of 10 to the people like me that are focused on online business and are looking to scale a business you're going to lose 10 times out of 10 with the side hustle mentality and when you think online business also this is why side hustles suck because their skills associated to to grow an actual business to where you are actually going to make life-changing income and when you're doing side hustles you don't ever take the time to build out those essential skills and it's really only four that it that it comes down to the scale up an online business. It is branding, marketing, sales, sales, and delegation. I don't know my handwriting is just so beautiful right now. But branding, marketing, sales, and delegation. So while majority of people go to failing side hustle, the failing side hustle, the failing side hustle is because nobody is familiar with their brand. Nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows what it is that they're known for because they're all over the place right here. They have no brand awareness. Therefore, they have no one to market to. Therefore, they have no one to sell to. Therefore, they cannot grow and scale their business through delegation, whether that be delegating tasks to other people or delegating tasks to system softwares and automations, right? Because they're only thinking side hustle. So digital products, great. Made over seven figures with them. Great for an online business. Terrible for a side hustle. And once you have this down, once you stop going from here and go to here, focus on that one thing, scale it up, think online business, think mastering these four levels of entrepreneurship, of branding, marketing, sales, and delegation to actually scale up your, your online business with your digital product. You can have numbers like these coming into your business. Like you see all these people having success right now because they're focused. So if you're ready to make more while working less with the digital product, go ahead and click the link down in the description. Join this credit at the top community for weekly coaching from myself, all of my exclusive trainings and a private community of entrepreneurs. It's only 47 bucks a month to join. That's less than a cup of coffee per day. So click the link down in the description to tap in and I'll see you on our coaching call this Wednesday. But get out of that side hustle mentality. Throw that side hustle word period outside of your head. You want to do something? Think business. How can I turn this into a business? How can I take stuff that I already know? Because these are the digital products that are selling. Package that up into a digital product and present that to the marketplace. And it can be about anything. Just ask yourself what comes easy to you that comes harder for others. What do people come and ask you for help about all the time? What have people hired you in previous jobs for? And if you are that one person that doesn't know how to do anything, go learn a skill. It doesn't take that long to become somewhat proficient at something. 
One of the number one selling courses on Teachable for years running was a course teaching how to play the piano. Go learn how to play the piano. Right, one of my email softwares, I did not know how to work. Guess what? I bought somebody's digital product teaching about how to work the email system. Everybody out here lying about uh, being proficient at Microsoft Excel on their resumes, you know how to work Excel, make a digital product teaching that about how to work Microsoft Excel, market it to professionals or people about to get their first job. Digital product. I met somebody at a mastermind event, a networking event. They told me they were making anywhere between forty and seventy thousand dollars per month teaching people how to walk dogs. It can be anything. I helped somebody make an extra five figures per month teaching people how to breathe. Something that we do every day without even thinking about. Five figures a month. I came across some lady on on YouTube that has a hundred plus thousand dollar per month business teaching other women how to knit. Knit like with with yarn and wool, knitting sweaters and mittens and scarves and stuff. So stop thinking side hustles and start thinking business. And if you did not realize, this is a multiple hundred billion dollar per year industry. Google it. Fact check it. They were saying something by like between 2025 and 2027, it'll be a trillion dollar industry. This is business, baby. But you're always going to fail if you have that side hustle mentality. So take that side hustle mentality, crumble it up, say Kobe, shoot in a trash can, man. And think about it. Every single person that is advertising what is the best side hustle, do this as a side hustle, side hustle, side hustle, side hustle. They have 100% abandoned their side hustle to turn their business into telling you to do side hustles. Isn't that interesting? So look, go ahead and click the link down in the description if you want to tap into a community and I'll see you on our call this Wednesday, but don't join if you want to do side hustle. I'm just telling you straight up. And go ahead and check out this video right here for a complete step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made a little over $200,000 in a single month. It's crowded at the top.